All right, check it out, man. I'm about to keep this show rolling. This brother right here, man, actually, this is kind of like a homecoming for him. He's from Chicago, makes his home in St. Louis right now. If you got good-ass cable, you'd have seen him on some of every damn thing that had to do with funny. He's known as Mr. Naturally Ignorant. Please give it up for my homeboy, my man. Make some noise for Kenny Howe, y'all. Make some noise. <laughs> Niggas in these fucked up ass outfits out here tonight. God damn. Look at this nigga with this Curtis Blow sweater on. <laughs> Your shit a little tight too, player. Shit. This nigga got on blood pressure gear. What size is that, nigga? 180 over 40, motherfucker. Shit. This nigga got a double ball spot too. <laughs> this shit stop, start, and say fuck it right here. I ain't growing no more, nigga. Don't be putting all that grease and shit on me, nigga. I ain't trying to come back and fuck with you. <laughs> black ass nigga right there. You look good, nigga, though. You black. You pitch black ass nigga, nigga. You ain't, you ain't midnight, dog, nigga. You four in the morning, black goddamn. You, you get pulled over on a motorcycle for tinted windows. Shit. Give it up for Dark Tanyon in this motherfucker. Give it up for these old ass ushers taking you to your seat, making sure we start this motherfucker late. Shit. No wonder we late. Them goddamn ushers, you get an usher, your ticket, them motherfuckers like, mm. You be mad, the motherfucker. Look, just move out the way. I'm in row 12. God damn. It's good to be home, man. I'm originally from Robert Taylor. And, yep. Moved from the projects to the ghetto. We left Robert Taylor and moved to Inglewood. And, uh, so it ain't much change, goddammit. Uh, but I ain't been here in the last 10 years, man. I, I've been down in St. Louis. That's where my wife from. I moved down to St. Louis. And they country than a motherfucker down there, Jack. I, you move down south, you got to give up shit. Real shit. I mean, shit like English. Just throw that right out the window. Them motherfuckers can't talk. I thought I landed in the land of ours. The motherfuckers had ours in there. Look at our heart. Going over there. Sitting that char. He just ran up them stars. <laughs> Motherfucker asked me, do I drink bar? I'm like, bar? What the fuck is that? I'm talking about Budweiser, bar. I say, beer, motherfuckers, what you trying to say? Then the words with the R in them come out with a K sound. <laughs> I asked the motherfucker, how your drink? It's kind of strong. Where you stay, 39th Street? Yo, I hear I'm scraping me, scraping the scry, I be cooling the motherfucker though. They got gold teeth everywhere. All the motherfuckers, little kids walking around with aluminum foil practicing. I saw a nigga had his whole name in his mouth. I said, what's your name, please? I said, oh, Demetrius. Nigga had 12 letters on two teeth, shit. Everybody down there be drunk because Budweiser made there. They be drunk than a motherfucker. Can't talk and shit. You ask a brother something, he take five words, you make it one word because he don't feel like talking to your head. Like, player, you gonna be okay? Yeah, I ain't. Yeah, I ain't. Five motherfuckers, I'm gonna be all right now. Nah, nah, nah. I hate when the niggas get drunk. Don't you hate when a motherfucker get drunk? Why liquor make niggas dream about shit they wanna do but can't do but believe they can? I had a nigga down there, this nigga was so drunk, this nigga just gave me some shit I just knew couldn't happen, but he really thought he could do it. This motherfucker told me, some brother, check it out. The white man think he down, right? Right, because he done went to the moon. <laughs> Boom, a brother gonna go to the sun. <laughs> Looking at this nigga, I'm like, nigga, is you crazy? The sun is hot. Hot, that's why the Arabs talk like that. I'm in the hot. hot. They trying to let you know it's 120 degrees over here. I'm out of shit. I'm hot. Hot and hot. Shit. You gonna go to the sun where all the heat is coming from. <laughs> nigga said, nah, nigga, I know the sun is hot. I thought about that. See, but that's where we got it, man. That's where we got it, man. <laughs> Boom. A brother gonna go at night. <laughs> a 
nigga, I see your ass in the morning, nice and crispy, motherfucker. You. Yeah, shit, St. Louis country to the motherfucker. They got some shit. This is what fucked me up. I moved down there, and them motherfuckers call shit different. Like, we call Chinese food what it is. Chinese food, right? Like, motherfucker, I see you want to go get some Chinese food, you'll call it whatever the name of the restaurant or some chop suey or something. Not down there, them motherfuckers call it the Chinaman. Yeah, like they eating a whole motherfucking man or something. You know, I'm going to see some Chinamen. This shit was fucking me up because I didn't know they was talking about food. All the niggas on the corner, I'm going to stop up here and see the Chinamen. I thought this was the biggest dope dealer in the city. I was like, this Chinaman motherfucker got St. Louis on lock. I ain't lying, me and my wife got into an argument. I was going to knock her ass out. I my like, fuck you, Kenny. I'm going to go get me some Chinamen. I was like, bitch, I kill you and that motherfucking Chinaman. You ain't I don't like Chinese people, goddammit. They whisper stink. <laughs> For real, they, they motherfucker with all that tea and shit, they shit stink. Cause you ever order your food and they whisper back to you what you just ordered? And you get a whiff of that breath, make you damn near cancel your shit? Like, let me get a small shrimp fried rice. I don't give a small shrimp fried rice. Shit! He ain't cooking the food, is he? And they think niggas ain't got the money because they screen the price at your ass. You get a good whiff, that make you cancel your shit. I lead a whole motherfucking store. I'm like, how much is that? 10 40, that man, fuck you. I'll go home and eat a bucket of shit before I come back in here. <laughs> Goddamn Chinaman. You motherfuckers always turn around and tell somebody, why they can't tell a nigga the shit I just said? You got to turn around and turn the shit in Chinese. Yeah, you know, niggas, we be listening for a cat or dog, and we always hit one of them motherfuckers, don't you? You order, give me a small shrimp fried rice, some eggs for young, this motherfucker turn around, Wayne Cat Tongue. You like Cat Tongue, nigga, Cat Tongue. Wing Chong Paul, this motherfucker said Paul. Everybody down there wearing hair pieces and shit. Yeah, all the ladies buying hair and shit. I don't mind you buying no hair if you can't grow it, sew it, fuck it. Can't get nobody to do it, glue it. God damn it, I ain't know. I just don't want to be the motherfucker to pay for it. That's all. The sisters be wanting you to buy the hair. I ain't finna buy no dead bitch hair. Yeah, shit. For real, you get them $50. I'm like, baby, get your shit dead. I can't do that. I'm gonna need another 50. You be like, for what? For some hair. Like some hair shit here. Here, here, get this ass hair. <laughs> Wait till I cut the kids' hair. Don't come fuck me about no dead motherfucker, huh? Then they go buy the wrong shit. If you're gonna buy some hair, buy your texture. <laughs> Fool me, shit. If your shit tacky, don't be fucking with the yakky rat. Get your ass over here to this $7 shit. You're going over there getting that $40 and $50 shit. Get your ass over here to this cheap shit. Coming out there with them two different textures. You ever seen with that taco meat hair here and a big black silk ass ponytail sitting off the tip of that motherfucker? Like I'm supposed to believe a rubber band done change your texture. You know that's where they get creative, right there at the connector. Yeah, and it don't take but a second to plug that motherfucker in. Some of them come out without the ponytail. Now that's the shit gets me. Yeah, and they come out with that little bitty piece of shit that sit up under the motherfucker. With this much hair sticking out the rubber band, you're gonna squeeze you a ponytail. It take two people to do this. Somebody gotta put their foot on her back and pull. Or somebody else wrap something around that motherfucker. Be and pull the whole face up, arch the eyebrows and everything. She can't even look down. What's this, a five dollar bill? I'm not giving this bitch out my money. What is this? Yeah, they country in the motherfucker. Summertime coming, they finna put the sandals on. I can't stand ladies who feet ugly and you wear sandals. Your feet ugly, hide them motherfuckers. You ain't supposed to wear sandals. You ever see the motherfuckers with them long ass finger toes? She be walking and her feet be waving at you. And you like, your, your feet just spoke to me. I hate them little snub nose, 38 toes too. The motherfucker look like she been kicking the curb. Bow. I hate the motherfuckers that sit over the sandal. You ever see them shits? Yeah, where well, the toes hit more sidewalk than the sandal. Well, this be the sandal, and here go the toes just be reaching over. She be walking down the street picking up shit. 
Ooh, a nickel. <laughs> Take care of your feet too, ladies. I mean, your hair, your breath. Get your bodies in shape. You know, you have a baby, that don't mean you gotta let your body go. I ain't lying, goddamn it, shit. Motherfucker get, get a little old and shit, they whole top drop. Yeah, I can't stand a sagging titty. For real, I mean, motherfucker, that sagging titty, that's a turn off. My dick dropped right with the titty. <laughs> no, because they got some of them bras that give them their titties back. I call them cleavage bras, you know what I'm saying? They got like the steel rim up under the cup, and they button up in the front, and they push the titty all up in their face. You be in the club drunk like shit, she got cleavage. <laughs> then you get home and you get to kissing around and, and you pop that bra, you like, oh, what the fuck done happened here? <laughs> you be so far down, you can massage her feet and suck her. <laughs> you ever see a titty sag so much you ain't even wanna suck it? You just want to blow it back up to see what it used to look like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies, I ain't trying to fuck with y'all. Yeah, I moved down to St. Louis because I got married. Yep. Well, that's a marriage. How many of y'all married? Look at that. That's all the women clapping. Hey, shit. Niggas be like, I've done that bullshit, man. We don't want to get married. You only marry your ass because it's about time. That's it. We been with your ass so long, ain't no more steps left in the process. We, they, we wasted their ass damn near dead. Like, well, shit, she's 68. I'm gonna marry when she's 69. <laughs> no, we got these two grandkids, and I want to give them my last name before I die, you know. <laughs> Women get married because they didn't put over too much of your shit, and they got to get something out the deal for all that pain. Yeah, they don't even be in love with your ass. Now, I don't give a fuck about them, but he gonna give me a motherfucking ring for the shit I done put up with. I stood by this motherfucker. I was there when he went to jail, when he beat up my mama, threw my grandma off that porch. Nigga ain't shit. <laughs> Women and motherfuckers, y'all beautiful as hell, but when y'all move in, shit change. Yeah, when they get used to your ass, they always look good when they don't live with you. You know what I'm saying? They won't let you see them fucked up. You be trying to sneak over their house, like, boo, I'm around the corner, I'm just gonna drop right in. No, you not, nigga, I don't want you to come over here and see me like this. But when they move in, they don't give a fuck. They come to the breakfast table, shit. Looking like your little brother. <laughs> You're like, Byron? Nah, motherfucker, it's me. You're like, shit. I married this ugly ass nigga who just left up out the kitchen. And certain things they can do can change the way they look to you too, shit. My wife moved in and did something to change her looks to me. I ain't lying, that motherfucker, she moved in and went in the bathroom and, and, and took that first shit. And I smelt that motherfucker, shit. She don't look the same to me no more. Fuck what you talking about. I didn't know a woman could smell like that, shit. I had to ask and say, boo, didn't we eat the same thing? I mean, this shit smell like my father, and I know he have gorilla. She gonna try to blame it on something else. That's because I'm on my period. <laughs> and bitch, that came out your ass, not your boo. I don't know who you bullshitting. Yeah, they're motherfucking. Women to poot around you won't say shit. You know, I don't mind you pooping, you know, because that smell is unbecoming of your beauty. But they'll poop and stand right next to you and act like they don't even smell the motherfucker. Now, that bothers me. Yeah, don't let me be the only person in the room looking for this doo-doo smell and you know you just did it. Help me find this shit, bitch. Look with me. You smell the pooch, you be like, you smell like I smell what? Well, you looking under those shoes. You, did you step on some dog shit or something for you out there? It's coming from over there where you at, I ain't going. But let you pooch, they go into a fucking rage. Yeah, women can't take a man poop. You poop, them motherfuckers look like you ain't shit. They go into a rage. Oh, goddamn, you nasty motherfucker. Get the kids out the house. How we supposed to live in here now? We ain't got no insurance for this shit you just did. They be making up shit. This shit all in the food. You done fucked up dinner. Come on, kids, get your coach, your nasty ass daddy done shit it in the meal. Then they want to ask you about it. Didn't you feel it coming? Warn me next time. Like, 
I hate this bitch, boy. I swear I hate this bitch. You can hear your woman poop. They still won't take the blame. They blame it on something else. Something caused her to poop. She didn't just right there and let one loud. Yeah, you know, and then they be trying to hold it in. That's how come you hear because they had their butt cheeks tight. And they be trying to sift it out. But it come to have a little bit too much power for her ass. And then it riffle out like a little piece of lightning. Brrr, that bitch, that was you. Uh-uh, that's that medication I'm taking. Well, I ain't no doctor nothing, but Tylenol don't smell like shit when you open the bottle. Smell like you done took an extra strength in this motherfucker, too. We pay the ass back because we're pooping the bed, Jack. Yeah, they can't stand that shit. <laughs> no, the motherfuckers, they can't sleep with the doo doo smell. They'll be reading the Bible and they'll end up cussing your ass out. The Lord said, Oh, goddamn, nigga, shit. Here your half on the rent. You can move the fuck out. <laughs> the women, they polite. They won't poop in the bed. They get up in the middle of the night and go poop. Yeah, you know they poop because you see them come out the bathroom about four in the morning. You don't see no lights on. You don't hear no toilet flush or shit. Just see a motherfucker come floating out the dark. You, know? <laughs> you be looking like, where this bitch coming from, this lady? She been in there poop. We ain't getting up, goddammit, before we put in the bed. We'll shit in the bed if we had to. And we fuck with them on purpose. We let one of them quiet but stanky motherfuckers out, too. You know the one that sound like a firecracker that didn't go off. You know, <laughs> You tell doo-doo right behind it. And we'll grab that cover and swing that breeze. She's like, oh, you're like, I got her ass. That's marriage, man. When you get married, you become brother and sister. That's why I'm proud of my parents, man. My parents been married 53, 54 years, man. Nine kids, Jack. And all of us are like, each one of my brothers and sisters is a part of me. Love them motherfuckers. That's my people. We Robert Taylor raised, everybody doing good, all of them, man. Yeah, they keep the family good because, you know, my father would pass out the ass whoopings. My mother would trick on your ass. Yeah, she'd whoop his ass too. He did some shit last week I didn't tell you about. Well, what you gonna tell them now for, mama? My mama one of them black mamas, boy. She'd cuss your ass out, embarrass you in front of your friends. My mama came in there and tell you your drawers shitty with, with your friends. You sitting there watching TV. She'd come in there, who put these nasty motherfuckers in my hamper with my good clothes? Put these motherfuckers in a plastic bag with your brother drawers, nasty fuckers. My mama wouldn't even wash her drawers at the same laundromat as her other shit. She coming in, you can go get your drawers, they on 53rd, here goes some bus fare. <laughs> my mama didn't give a fuck about your feelings. My mama told me my breath stank one time at a family reunion. <laughs> yeah, told me don't talk to nobody else in the party, I'm fucking up the family name. <laughs> yeah, didn't ask somebody next to her to smell it to prove she wasn't lying on me. I walk up to him like, hey, my mood, goddamn, nigga, what the fuck you been eating? I was like, garlic bread with spaghetti, garlic my ass, them your insides. You're gonna need to see a doctor about that shit. Can your ass back to the hotel? Don't talk to nobody fucking my name up. You smell this motherfucker, bro. I hate this motherfucker sometimes. My father was cool. I love him. He here tonight. That's my nigga Jim, boy, but he beat your ass, Jack. I follow one of them niggas that grab one arm and just go for your ass. Be hitting you all in your back and shit. He be like, ah, oh, daddy, hit me in my back. Well, quit moving, goddammit. Motherfucker be stuttering as you whipping you, you know. <laughs> Every lick is a word. I told you, get you. like you told me, motherfucker. How you told me? My father was cool though. He get drunk, boy, and that be. That's why all us cool like that. He, he's the biggest fool in the family. That's where my gift come from. My daddy, my granddaddy. My daddy, this motherfucker crazy, boy. This motherfucker be partying. He be dancing and shit. He used to get drunk on weekends. We lived in the projects. Goddamn it, he loved, thought he was James Brown because he's real black and got a gold tooth right here with a perm sometime. Either a perm or a curl, depends on what the fuck's out that day. That motherfucker be jamming, boy, but he be breaking off some shit, you don't even know if he dancing or having a heart attack. For real, only time we know he dancing is when he busts a clap. Motherfucker be like, oh, goddamn. You be like, oh shit, call him. Nigga, don't call nobody but your mama, goddamn. <laughs> this motherfucker, boy, he'll, he'll break off a dance, right? And if, He'll reach out his hand for somebody to give him five. And if ain't nobody there to give him five, <laughs> he'll give himself five and shake his ass real fast. Like the God that died.
But what was cool, man, him and his brothers, they never get old. Them motherfuckers party at every party. You ever see them old motherfuckers come to your party and fuck it up? Tell you you don't know how to dance. Nigga, this is shit ain't shit y'all doing ain't shit. I used to cut a rug in my day. I got an uncle boy, motherfucker be breaking some dances off. You know he had the surgeries in his back. So his ass be cocked like this. He had that look on his face where you could hear the pain in the dance. Mm, 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 mm. You can holler something out here, do it. Be like, go fish his uncle. Mm. I mean, my daddy get together, they be calling them out. My father be dancing, my uncle call him out, and whatever he called out look just like what he doing. But you won't know not one of these motherfuckers. Boy, this shit be funny too, cause he'll call about eight dancers, he'll break it off. He's like, boy, I'm gonna show y'all how we used to get out. Jimmy call the field of my tummy. Say, you ready? Call him out. Okay, reach for the sky. Mm. Climb the pole. Play the violin. Hypnotize <laughs> Clean the windshield. Fly the helicopter. Get up on her. Back up off of her. Drive the car. Shoot the arrow, kill the roach, kick out, and I celebrate. <laughs> oh, God damn it, I'm from Chicago originally. I don't know. That's right, Shot Town, Southside. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, I don't miss the winners here no more, though. I tell y'all that shit by going down to St. Louis and fuck around. The winners here is a motherfucker, Jack. It be cold in the motherfucker. You ever be here and it's 30 below and you see a nigga still got to be on that bus stop? Nigga be freezing his ass off, goddammit. He's so cold he can't stop looking for the bus. Motherfucker be like, shh, ain't that some bullshit right here? Come on, motherfucker, come on around the car. Nigga just walk in the middle of the street. What the fuck is taking this shit? I saw a nigga start looking the other way, but fuck it, I'm gonna catch this bus down there to meet this motherfucker. You know a nigga cold when he look like he still got the hanger in his jacket. Shit. That nigga freeze. That's that Chicago cold. You gotta work in that shit. Only thing helping is a nice blunt. <laughs> I'm a little raspy because I've been smoking. Yeah, I've been talking smoking that shit Tony talking about. I know, man. That shit a little bit. I don't know, shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> that shit had you fucked up. And I'm an old school man. I'm like him. I'm used to getting a big ass bag of weed for ten dollars. These motherfuckers, every time they put a name on it, it go up 10. <laughs> Kush, $20. Per, $30. Loud, loud, $40. <laughs> Nigga told me he had some throw up for $50. I'm like, some throw up? Who the fuck smoking throw up, nigga? I said, nigga, why this shit cost so much? <laughs> I said, my, this the good shit. It grow up, it ain't got no seeds in it or nothing. I said, nigga, give me the shit with the sticks and the seeds then, shit. <laughs> I get him out, I got plenty of time. I wasn't planning on going nowhere after I smoked this shit. Don't charge me an extra $40 because you took the seeds out, nigga. Put them back and take these $10. Look on that, nigga. I bought two of the throw ups. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was on it. That shit too potent. I ain't like regular weed where you just be cool and silly. This shit had me paranoid. They must have put some cocaine on my shit. I was scared than a motherfucker out there, I smoked that shit. I sat in my hotel room and watched the preview guide channel for about two, three hours. <laughs> Three, I'm sitting there, I'm waiting on some shit to come home, but I'm scared to turn to it. <laughs> Just in the corner of the room, shaking. <laughs> I reached for the TV, it's 70, no, I better wait to 815. I don't know what's coming on channel two. <laughs> fuck that, I don't fuck with cocaine. I did cocaine one time, did about a dollar fifty cent worth. She had my chest beat, my eyes was cocked and shit. I'm, I'm looking at motherfucker, my eyes straight ahead, but I'm trying to find a nigga over there. I don't know how them crackheads do. You ever see them crackheads out there and took a hit? Motherfuckers be stuck, motherfuckers be walking and shit. You know, like they sneaking up on you, but walking right at your way. Like, nigga, I see you, but give me one for five since you see me. Motherfucking oh, crackheads. I love crackheads, goddammit. I like talking to them after they done took a hit of this shit. Yeah, because you know they can't say shit. The cocaine won't let them. But you can see in their face, they really want to answer your ass, Jack. As soon as they take that hit, I be like, them your keys, you drop the keys, you're driving them. I 
Huh? I love them motherfuckers. That's why I shop, though. Fucking crackheads. That's the real home shopping network right there, goddammit. Yeah, I furnish my own home. If you don't buy shit from crackheads, it's probably your shit we buy. You can't get everything from the crackhead. You can't get the bootleg videos from them. You gotta get that from the bootleg man. You know, that's done became a black job now. <laughs> nigga who make bootlegs, he be having to lie outside his house. That motherfucker make you spend money you ain't even want to spend. You come in there, this nigga got all the old shit, you know. You leave out of there, you done bought the whole five seasons of The Wire, and Sanford and Son and shit. You even spent $60 with this motherfucker. Don't get them from the nigga who's standing in front of his house with one DVD, that's the crackhead nigga. That nigga standing in front of my bootleg nigga, I tell my man he all out of the planet of the apes. I got the last planet of the apes. I'm like, no nigga, you the last planet of the apes. I bought the motherfucker, I was pissed off, cause it, my shit, it, it was too many people in my movie. When none of them in the original movie, I didn't know where these motherfuckers was coming from. He didn't even go to the movie theater to videotape my shit. This nigga went to somebody's drive-in theater and shot my shit outside. I see niggas' cars pulling in at the bottom of the picture. What really pissed me off at the good part of the movie, the nigga that was filming my shit dipped in the movie and told me this the part he wanted me to see. <laughs> nigga just stood up and said, watch that nigga on the left get shot, dog, and walked out the movie. That's some crackhead shit right there. I had to slow up on the drink and I got to doing the Patron shots last night. Them motherfuckers ain't no joke. Yeah, because they sneak up on you. You know, you, you throwing that shit down, boy, you be cool the first two hits. By the time you get to that fourth shot, you a whole nother motherfucker. <laughs> For real, that first shot, you be yourself. You're like, hello, I, I have a shot of Patron, a little salt, a little line. Thank you, give her something. You want something? Give her one. You take that mother, that was nice. I, I, waiter, I'll have another one. Come on over here, another shot of Patron. A little salt, a little line, give her something. That fourth shot, you do. Motherfucker, bring your ass over. Give me another shot of that bullshit. Get this bitch some. You want some? Get this bitch a napkin, a piece of lemon. I ain't buying you shit. Have a bitch a napkin. <laughs> you be hiding a motherfucker, Jack. You be so drunk off that shit, you be on done some crazy shit and wake up the next day and don't remember you did it. You ever go through that? You be so drunk, people telling you what you did, you can't believe it. Like, man, I ain't done no bullshit like that. <laughs> this is how you know you did some crazy shit. When you ask the person that was with you what you did, yeah, they pause right before they tell your head. Like, nah, man, they tripping. What'll do you, boy? Be like, man. <laughs> nigga, you was outside butt naked with your thumb in your ass blowing bubbles. Nigga, I ain't done no bullshit like that. You out your damn, my hand do smell like shit, dog. <laughs> different liquor got different effects, too. The clear liquor a little bit potent in the dark. It's a whole nother high, like the Grey Goose Patron, all that shit, rock shit. That shit like rocket fuel. You drink that shit, you be excited. You be in the club calling women bitches because you like them. Look at this fine bitch right here. Come here and talk to me. Hold your stinking ass, you pretty bitch. <laughs> she don't know how to act. Oh, thank you. Get this nigga. <laughs> See, the dark liquor, you be mellow, you know, like a little crown, a little cognac or something. It's heavy. You be laid back. You get creative. Yeah, you can tell a woman she got a big ass in a nice way. Won't even embarrass her in the club. You be cool. You be like, damn, boo, look at you. Shit. <laughs> You've been blessed. <laughs> she be blushing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not off that clear. Look at this big ass bitch right here. Come here, show him the pussy print on this bitch. Let this pussy open up. You can't even get your dick sucked off, Jen. You can't. You too impatient. You want your dick sucked right away and you don't give a fuck how you act her. As soon as you see that rod, look at that, that's that gin dick. Come on, put a little head on that motherfucker. Come on, give me a little derby. Put a little cap on there. How about a little beanie? Come on, suck on that. Dang, bitch. <laughs> Who want to suck your dick after you didn't talk to them like that? <laughs> not no real woman, shit. Especially not no sisters. Black women don't like sucking dick as it is. Damn sure don't want to walk right in the house and start sucking dick. 
You gotta get a sister in a suck mood. Yeah, let her suck on some other shit first and persuade her to go down. Let her suck around up here and be like, okay, boo, that's enough right there. You finished right there. Just go a little lower with it. Yeah, that's it, baby. Keep going. I love your motherfucking ass. Not that gin. She's sucking up here too long. Quit sucking on my titty and go and suck the dick, bitch. I ain't no bitch. And women quit sucking on me and titties. We don't like that shit. We don't even, you like your tight suit, you like your titty lick. I don't like my titty lick. I don't like my titty lick because I don't know how to fuck the feel. I'm trying to feel like a man. You got any tingling and shit? I'm about ready to haul up and bust you in the side of your motherfucking head. Fuck, I look like big ass man in my little bitty nipple hard. She tearing it up. Might as well go and stick your finger in my ass now. I feel like a fag sucking on my titty. The shit I do to you to get some pussy. You can't get no pussy from me. Yeah. Then they want to call their girlfriend. I had him in the bed squirming. You had your thumb in my ass. You're goddamn right I'm a squirm. Women and motherfuckers, especially black women, y'all something else, boy. I love y'all. Y'all the greatest thing God ever created, but y'all motherfuckers, yeah, give yourself some love. But y'all don't fight right. Sisters fight with their mouth. Yeah, and they'll cut your ass down, goddammit. They don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna win no argument with no sister. You be arguing about some regular shit, she bring up some shit she been holding in 10 years just to win this argument. And they knife cut hard, they fuck with your manhood. They'll say some shit, throw your ass off. You be wanting to beat the shit out of them. You be ready. That's what make you want to knock a bitch out, bitch. You, you can just be arguing about some regular shit and she'll go deep. You just be mad because you come home from working the house nasty. Like, goddamn, baby, I've been working all day like a goddamn slave. I come home the house nasty, shit all in the floor. You ain't cooked, just in the sink. What about that? Look what the fuck I got to come home to. Well, nigga, your dick little and you can't fuck. What about that? Look what I got to wait to come home to me. A bitch, I'll beat your ass you say some shit like that to me. You might whip my ass, but it ain't gonna make your dick no bigger. Like, boy, I can't hit this bitch, but when she turn around, I'm gonna softly kick her in the back. You wanna just tap the ass and knock the ass into the couch or something. Sister's a motherfucker, boy. And they think because you a man, they can say anything to you. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers will drop a bomb on your ass all anywhere. You got to be cool with it. But you tell them something you think pretty simple and they get mad and want to break the fuck up. For real, a, a, a sister tell you she pregnant at the movie theater and expect you just keep on watching the picture. Like she didn't fuck your whole life up right there in the theater. You be watching the movie, this the good part. You know my period didn't come this month. You're like, what? Well, go on, watch your movie. Like, motherfuck this movie, bitch. What you say to me? I can't afford no more motherfucking kids. Tell this same woman her breath stink the wrong way and she get mad and want to break the fuck up. Uh, this ain't going to work. You said that in front of everybody. You're like, well, well, bitch, I smelt it in front of everybody. <laughs> Shit, uh, I'm supposed to go home and let my breath out. I'm trying to live. <laughs> ain't no right way to tell a sister her breath kicking. You just got to take one for the team. <laughs> for real, you ever been in the car with your woman in the wintertime? In, in, in the car and, 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 and you got the heat on? And she got morning breath kicking that day, boy, that's a hell of a ride there, Jack. You in the car just dodging breath like, Jesus, can you shut this bitch up? She is singing, oh, that's my song. That bitch don't sing. Turn the radio off, fuck that. She act like she don't smell this breath mixed with the heat banking off the windshield. She complained about a motherfucker at work. You know, I hate this place. This bitch at work is killing me. You're like, this bitch in the car is killing me. Only way to breathe, you be trying to get that window down. You ain't with them motherfuckers you don't even know just to get fresh air in the car. Like, damn, that look like my nigga. Hey, what up, T? <laughs> Roll that up, nigga. It's cold. You're like, fuck that, T. Come on over here and smell some of this shit I got to deal with this morning. But they don't give a fuck about telling you your breath stink. They act like your breath done reached out and slapped the shit out of them. They be ducking and dodging and shit. They know you got weed and alcohol on your breath. Them motherfuckers be frowning and shit, you know, be like, how you done? Mm, I'm all right, can you back up, nigga? Mm. We don't catch it at first. They end up just going to their purse. They'll offer you all type of shit. 
shit that ain't even got to do with breath. Really, they tell you to get the fuck out their face. You had your best rap on how you doing. Oh, I'm all right, can you back up, nigga, just about two feet. You a fine motherfucker. Can I be fine from over there? Let me step back. You want to drink? Look, motherfucker, you want some gun, some candy, a jawbreaker, a now later, a Tums, a rubber band, a, a eyebrow pencil. Take these shades and get the fuck up out of my face. They had you walking on, blowing in your hand and shit. Why niggas do that bullshit? You tell a nigga his breath stinking, he blowing his motherfucking hand. Like, player, you should have looked tart today. You know? <laughs> that ain't me, nigga. Fingers wide open, he being blew that shit out in the street. He ain't caught shit. I had a boy, his breath stinks so bad, he, you tell him he want to fight you. Yeah, I ain't finna fight no nigga because his hot jeans fucked up. But I am your boy, so I try to sing the nigga a song to see if he can catch on what I'm talking about. This nigga, when he finished the song, he just join right in and finish the song like he didn't even know I was talking to him. Nigga like, what up, Kenny? I'm like, whoa, pardon me, boy. Is that the cat who ate the doo-doo? He like, oh, yeah. I'm like, you ate the doo-doo, shit mouth. Dookie face, motherfucker. Doo-doo. <laughs> That's an old folk word, ain't it? Mm, smell like somebody done doo-dooed in here, don't I, I hate doo-dooing. You always have to shit when you don't feel like it. Shit always come when you don't want the shit, don't it? Like soon as you get out the tub, now you got the shit. You be mad at your body, like goddamn, I just washed my ass and this bullshit come. You ever had your ride show up to go to work and now you got the shit? Like, nigga, shit, you got a decision to make, goddamn. Like, nigga, but go and punch me in. I huh? I'm gonna take the day off. I got the shit. But black people don't shit quick. White people, like the cameraman, they shit real quick. Yeah, they shit quick. They in and out. Ha ha ha. That's why they walk like that. They're trying to shake the rest of that shit down. Not niggas. We going to the bathroom with VCRs and TV guys. You be in there to one of your legs go to sleep. You like, fuck that. I'm shitting out everything today, right now. I'm not coming back at this motherfucker today. White people shit in public. Yeah, that shit at the gas station, McDonald's and shit like that. You be out in public, you will feel a shit coming your hole that doo-doo in two weeks to get home. You ever be in a grocery store and feel a shit come? Man, you'll put all that shit back. Look, bitch, just bring up the milk, get the syrup, yeah, fuck, the, fuck that shit, I got the shit. Shit, let them get some oatmeal at the house, fuck it. Let them eat them Roman noodles, goddammit, I got the shit. <laughs> White people shit in clubs and shit like that. Ain't no nigga gonna shit in no nightclub. There's another nigga coming in and be ready to beat the shit out you. As soon as they smell some shit, man, there's some pretty ladies out there. Oh, God damn! What nasty motherfucker in here do to him? Oh, who got some cologne? This shit done got in my clothes. This nigga done fucked my outfit up. Niggas be so mad, they don't leave it in the bathroom. They get to looking under the stall at your shoes and shit. So they can go out in the party and tell everybody who the fuck you are. As soon as you walk out, that's them brown shoes. That's that doodle motherfucker right there. Man, that nigga shitted up the whole party. Don't nobody want to talk to you. Like, boo, you want a drink? Uh-huh, nigga, you do this. You ever had somebody come over your house and shit? All the time? Like, this nigga, why you always have to shit when you come over here? I had a nigga used to shit over my house every day when I had a job, right before we go to work. Nigga, why you always have to shit in my house? Give my son, not your house, man. I say, all right, you trifling motherfucker, I got something for your ass. I did some real nasty shit, but it worked. It was nasty, but it was cool. It worked out for me. The next day before he got there, I took the door knob off the bathroom door, right? So I could look in there. Then I hid all the toilet paper. I wrote him a note and stuck it on the door. He came in, he didn't pay no attention. He just sat down and started shitting. About 10 minutes later, he, he hear him in there talking about me, talking about this trifling ass nigga ain't even got no tissue. Then he looked up there and saw the note. The note said, there is no tissue. Wipe your ass with your two fingers and stick it through the hole in the wall and it be licked clean by a human mouth. 
Yeah, he ain't fall for it at first. He's like, man, I ain't doing no nasty shit like that. About 20 minutes went by and both of that nigga legs was shaking, his circulation cut off. He's like, man, let me read this shit again. I gotta get out of here. Wipe my hands with my two fingers. Stick them through the hole in the wall and they be licked clean by a human mouth. But fuck it, I gotta get out of here. So he wiped his ass and he stuck it through the hole in the wall. <laughs> and I was on the other side with two bricks. I say, pow! He said, ow! 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 up there with them radio seats. Nigga, you ain't pay for them. You won them motherfuckers. <laughs> you damn near outside. That motherfucker hot up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Nigga, way the fuck up there. Ah, shit. It's hot than a motherfucker. Couples in the house. How many y'all married? Yeah, I'm married. I've been married for 10 years. Been my wife 14 years. We got four kids. Ronald, Harvey, Chanel, Kennedy. I had to mention their names for because we're going to be on TV, so I had to tell them. You ain't say nothing about us, Daddy. Yeah, my marriage a motherfucker, though, boy. We don't really like marriage men. We only marry your ass because it's about time. We've been with your ass so long, ain't no more steps left in the process. You can't even ask a nigga if he married in front of nobody else. And there's some more women around, nigga be ready to whoop your ass. Like, Claire, you married? Man, that bitch over there, don't say no shit like that to me, man. Come here, let me talk to you, nigga. What kind of nigga is you to say some shit like that in public, motherfucker? When women get married because they didn't put up with all your shit. Yeah, and they need something out the deal to show for all that pain. They don't even be in love with your ass no more. Motherfucker, give me a ring. I done stood by this raggedy ass nigga. He put me through hell. I was there when he went to jail, when he beat up my mama, threw my grandma off that porch. Marriage a motherfucker, you got to move in. Women, y'all change when y'all move in. Y'all motherfuckers different. They don't give you pussy no more. For real, man. my wife named Angie, goddamn it, shit shut down when she moved in. When we didn't live together, I got fucked every time I visited. Yeah, because she was trying to get me. Then she be trying to make up little shit to get me to pay a bill and shit after we done did it. I'm like, ooh, I think they gonna cut my phone out this way. I'm like, oh, damn, so I shouldn't have called you for a couple of weeks is what you said. Six all the time, goddamn. She moved in, she fucked me on payday. <laughs> Hell yeah, black women they ain't getting name, yeah, you know, pussy once they got you. You be mad in the motherfucker. Lord forbid you get paid every two weeks. You be sick in that middle week. <laughs> you be making up shit. Hey, boo, you know we got paid early this week. You know that, right? <laughs> Let me see the check stuff. They gave us cash, and I'm gonna give you some cash. Can't get your dick sucked. Sisters don't never want to suck no dick. They wasn't sucking dick too much before they moved in. A lot of black women and white girls, they suck all the time. A lot of sisters, she suck on special occasions, but she want that pussy lick every day. Eating pussy that became part of foreplay. They'll let you eat some pussy, won't even give you shit. You be sitting there wiping your mouth. <laughs> you like that, huh? You gonna do me some, mm -mm. But I just did you, but I didn't tell you to do that, though, shit. I ain't no fool, I wasn't gonna stop you. Sisters, they know when they gonna suck some dick. If we had a calendar mark, four times a year. For real, Valentine's Day, you spend some money, you can get your dick sucked. Uh, uh, your birthday, you can get your dick sucked. You get parole, you can get your dick sucked. <laughs> Christmas is a good dick suck day. We know we getting our dick sucked on Christmas. We be spent all our money. We be butt naked, broke with them presents, hostage under our arms, singing and slinging. <laughs> I'm gonna get my dick up. I'm gonna get my dick up. They be in the other room dreading. Got to go in here and suck this nigga's dick. <laughs> Christmas is some bullshit. They be mad that you look, don't buy me nothing next year if I got to suck a dick for it. <laughs> then they act like they hate the dick. Here, come on in the motherfucker room. Come on. They're like, hold on. Said, come on away from my kids, nigga. Come in the basement. You be walking down the stairs and shit with them pulling your dick. All right, here I go. 
Black women slick too. Yeah, they don't start sucking your dick right away. No, they try to jack you off first, so by the time they start sucking, you ain't got but two minutes of your dick left. They be talking about some, hold on, let me get it ready. You're like, bitch, it's ready. Uh-uh, and I know what I'm doing. I know what the fuck you doing. Uh-uh, hold on, your girl spin on the sun before I come. Now do a Merry Christmas, nigga, shit. You got to be on your best behavior with a sister, too. That's right, because they be looking all up at you like they your mama. You know, like, look, one false move, nigga, and I'm coming up off the deck. You do anything stupid, I'm coming off of it. Be like, well, shit, I ain't gonna fuck up. I ain't even gonna look. I ain't gonna look. <laughs> you always fuck up because you lose your discipline when she hits your spot. When she hit that tingle, that's when you grab that motherfucking head, and that's when you fuck up. With a black woman, especially if she got her head near, you grab her head, she snatching the dick right out her mouth. Ain't gonna drop a few rules on your motherfucking ass. As soon as you grab that head, oh yeah. Wait a minute, motherfucker, get your hand on my head. You want me to finish this shit? Put your hands behind your back. Get back. <laughs> you get them some head, they enjoy they self. They'll push your face all the way through to their ass. You come up, your face smelling like pussy, your chin smelling like shit. You're like, God, damn, damn. she don't give a fuck about me. I got to go to work like this. Yeah, and that pussy smell be on your face a long time, too. It don't just go away. Yeah, them juices, they go up under your skin and grow back out in your mustache. About two days later, you smell that shit from you like, God damn. Niggas at work be smelling you like, that's him, you smell like pussy, that's him, that's him. But man, that was two days ago, man. I'm telling you, my nigga. Motherfucking pussy something else, Jack. I used to have to eat pussy with a cold. <laughs> Women couldn't wait for me to get sick. I mean, I heard you had pneumonia. I'm outside. <laughs> they something else, boy. They body different. They can come and keep going. They won't tell you. I don't like that shit either. I wish I could do it, you know, because they, you know, shit, that's something wonderful. If I can fucking keep fucking, bust a nut, every time you see me, I'll be fucking. I'm like, hey, how you doing? How your mama doing? Everybody cool this week? Woman to bust a nut won't even tell you. Yeah, she had you working your ass off. You'll be struggling. You be fucking so long, you be mad. You be like, God damn, man. You be, you be frustrated. You be like, man, God damn, man. This motherfucker ain't gonna never come. I gotta work in the morning. My back hurt. What the fuck is wrong with her? She done snuck a come on your dumb ass. She be working on her second nut, God damn. You gotta watch them when they go into that seizure and shit. Reaching for shit, talking to Jesus. out. Sweet Jesus, um, that's a nut. <laughs> Y'all know when we done came, it's like somebody done shot the shit out of us. Ass be so tight we can hold a quarter in that motherfucker. <laughs> Your ass be so tight Moses couldn't party. <laughs> yeah, but y'all might have been blessed to come twice, but God made our nut feel better than y'all's, cause ain't no way we can sneak a nut. Y'all know when we finna come, cause it's like somebody done shot, we don't give a fuck about you. We'll break your motherfucking neck. We don't give a fuck if you're breathing or not. Shut up, bitch. Let me get this now. And y'all know when y'all about to get choked. They know we finna choke them because our last seven strokes are exactly the same. <laughs> Straight ahead. I don't give a fuck if he been maneuvering around. God damn it. When we feel that nut coming, we want each stroke <laughs> to feel like that last one. That thing will get stronger. Ha, <laughs> ha, like, wait a minute, my head off the head, boy. You're like, fuck that. But I can't breathe. Well, bitch, I can breathe. I can't feel my leg. This your motherfucking leg. Shut up. Hey, that's all my time. Shut down.